Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's a last minute video. I gotta make gumbo for Emma's birthday. That was her request. So it's like 7.30 at night and I'm making gumbo because it's this recipe, it's always better to cook it, let it set cool, and put it in the refrigerator and serve it up the next day. So let's get going. First you're gonna start off with a bon uh, boneless skinless chicken breast. This is a 2.5 pound bag. I use the whole thing. So I'm gonna put it in this pot, put it, put some water in it, and boil it and get it cooked. So we'll be right back. While that's boiling, we're gonna get cutting our uh, other ingredients. I got one bell pepper. This is half an onion. If you want to use a whole onion, that's fine. And I got some, um, just some sausage, whatever kind you like. Here in Louisiana, we use uh, they have this connected sausage. That's what we like. And you're going to pick you up some uh, Cajun gumbo base. Okay, so I'm going to get this cut and yeah. Made in China. <gasps> I washed this, people. gonna um let our chicken bowl and then we'll be back okay now that we wrangle some chickens into their I got chickens and I will show you maybe in this video I don't know I don't know we'll work it in um anyway we're putting them in the coop and everybody's running around trying to put them in their coop because we still don't know what to do but anyway we got our chicken out and we'll let it cool and then we're gonna chop it up in a minute we're gonna um, head over here where our water's chicken broth still boiling, and we're gonna put this in. So, come on. In. Okay, boiling water. This is our uh, broth from the chicken we just boiled. We're gonna let that cook for a little bit, and then we're gonna come back over here, and we're gonna do this gumbo base. So, let me get the water, and I'll be right back. Okay, I got that much water in my pan. Just a little bowl, and then I got this Louisiana gumbo base, and I'm going to dump it in here. Now we have a small pot going because it's we can't have family over on this birthday party with all this stuff going down. Emma turns 15, by the way. Happy birthday, Emma! Just gonna mix that up. Okay, that's gonna be your base. So we're gonna let these vegetables cook a little bit and then, um, let me see, let them boil for a good five minutes and then we're gonna pour this in. So we'll be right back. If my lips look shiny from here, it's because I have an allergic reaction to something and I don't know what it is. My eyes have been like scaly and raw and my lips, you know, I got like half a pint of cocoa butter on my lips. But anyway, just so you know. Okay, I got some of this gumbo mix. We're gonna go pull it, put it, pull it, put it in here. Come on. It's boiling. It's been boiling for about five minutes, and we're gonna throw our base in here. And look at my beautiful spoon, Mr. Joe Jeter. Built me. We're just gonna stir that, and I'm gonna turn it on about four. I'm gonna get my chicken chopped. We're gonna put it in here, and we're just gonna let this bowl on four. We're just gonna let it cook for, let me think. Till your vegetables get tender. We're gonna see how long that is. What time is it, 8-11? I'll let you know. I'm not sure that clock's right. I think it is. We're gonna come over here and chop this chicken. So we'll be right back. Okay. It's kind of dark over here because my light's out. Um, I got all my chicken cut up. 
think it's going to pour it in here. Now, um, you could put anything you wanted to. We don't do all the okra and the shrimp. We just like chicken sausage and what I showed you. This is that's what we like. Uh, see, it's getting really thick. Now, when you set your okay, hold on, I'll tell you in a minute. We're gonna let this bowl come over here, Emma. Okay, we're gonna let that bowl for. Um, I'm gonna let bowl for another 20 minutes, and. Okay, this is what I do, and I recommend you do it. Cook it the night before, and you're going to set it to the side, and you're going to let it cool. Then you're going to put it in your refrigerator with the lid on top, and if you have breakfast, breakfast, listen to me, dinner or supper the next day, then you're just going to put it on your oven, and you're going to cook it, reheat it, and eat it. But that's the, I cannot talk today. Um, but anyway, that's the best way to do it. Cook it the night before because when you do that, it sits in the refrigerator and it gets really thick and the seasoning has time to just sit there. And it is so good when you cook it the night before. So, um, that's it. That's how you make my gumbo. Now, if you want to add stuff, go right on ahead. But I don't like all the other stuff. My family don't either. So. But um, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you later.